Hello, this is a video for the 1993 Monster APC, which stands for Monster Armored Personnel Carrier. It's one of the ones that I'm not sure, too sure about what all the other G.I. Joe fans think about it, but hopefully I'll convey how much of a G.I. Joe fan I am of this um, vehicle and the line, you know, that it came out um, during came out during the Mega Marines and I actually have one of them. I, I do own the other ones but right now we just have and his helmet came off there but this here is Gung Ho and he's one of the Mega Marines and one of the things that was cool in my opinion is um, that it came with a canister of Play-Doh and then you would take the Play-Doh and put it in a two-piece folded mold and it would form out um, armor to go over him. And then the idea was that you'd use um, guns or knives or one of the um, monster mutants. And it would be able to rip through the armor or whatever. And so, you know, kind of cool that they thought about it. The only bad thing, though, is I don't think that's the first time that they've ever used Play-Doh. But with Play-Doh, um, if you don't keep it... Um, moisturized then eventually it just turns into a hard rock so even if you get these figures nowadays off eBay or anywhere else the chances of your um, play-doh still being good probably not gonna happen but since I never played with play-doh when I was a real little kid that I can think of you know it was kind of cool to have that um, with the GI Joes so um, yeah so this is Mega Marine um, gung-ho and then we've got Colonel Courage, Long Harm, um, a version of Stalker right there. I've got the first version of Law and Order here. Well, actually, this is Law. Order is the name of his dog. Um, and then on the other side, I have another release of um, Law. Uh, another version of Dial Tone, Psych Out, and Spearhead. And then in this front compartment, I have um, General Flag. Let me take him out so you can see what he looks like. So there's one of the versions of General Flag right there. So let's go on to how many people can fit in here. You've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Then if you really want to, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24. So about 24 figures can fit on this thing. And so that's another reason that I'm such a big fan of it. And I just like the look of it. And I like that there's so much that you can do with it. Um, so anyway, so we can lower this. Oh, and they call them big monster tires, but... These are the tires on it. They all of them roll, roll. So this, I don't know that you're really supposed to do this, but I, one reason I do like this vehicle is it has this gun here, and you can actually have it go into these peg holes over here, and you can have it locked down so the person is all covered. Or you can bring it out a little bit get whichever figure you've got and as long as he's holding on to these things right here he'll stand up pretty good so I think that's pretty cool that it's both you know armored then he can sit there he can stand there I and mean, that's just a cool thing to me um, I'll try and do justice of the missile launcher back here you've got four of them here they all come off. And I don't do this very often, of course, but um, even when I was getting ready 
you know, cleaning this up a little bit, um, I was just thinking, wow, this is actually kind of fun. So anyway, you have to see um, that there's two um, slots or pegs sticking out on the side. They sit like this, but they actually have to go, you know, upright um, when you put them in the gun. And the gun's really fun, in my opinion. You have this one back here. You slide that back, put in the missile with these sticking up, and then you push this forward, push it over, and then that allows you to have this button now that is originally hidden, and you push that one, and it fires it. So let's go ahead and show you that. Try not to lose the missile. So there we go. <laughs> so it flew really, really fast, hit that, and then flew backwards and went under my desk somewhere. So um, anyway, I think that's kind of cool. It's like a lock and load um, missile launching thing. Um, then it also has these guns here. Let's see. It looks like they swivel up. And yeah little tight but they do move outwards and there's one on the other side so again just another great vehicle in my opinion um, has so much armament so much stuff that you can do with it so many people can fit in it there was a release I believe with uh, another Toys R Us exclusive that came with a bunch of um, the Cobra versus G.I. Joe um, or G.I. Joe versus Cobra battle android troopers the remake of them and that came out and so I do have that one so I'll have to do a video on that one because the colors are different um, and this is another one again that I don't know that too many people like and usually the reason people don't like it though is because they feel like it's too um, far-fetched because, again, in this one, the G.I. Joes went and they fought against uh, big mutants and then, um, like, cyborgs. And some people just don't like it when G.I. Joe um, gets a little too science fiction. But I'm actually pretty open-minded to the whole thing. That's one reason I love G.I. Joe. And I'm so glad to be a collector is because... There's, you know, the military, there's the drug enforcement, there's monsters, there's, you know, just so much stuff going on with it. So it's really, you know, great that almost anything you like, you can buy and it will be cool. And then if you don't like it, then, you know, there's still so many other things that if you don't like it, there's still so many other things you can buy that you do like. So... That's one great thing I love about G.I. Joe. So anyway, there's my video for the 1993 Monster APC.